Hello, dear boys and girls, and welcome to our Fun with English episode. In today's episode, we are going to revise vocabulary and structure, but through games. We are going to have an assessment. So, if you are interested in scoring high mark at your exam, join us, but after the break. Welcome back, dear students. So if you want to score high marks and you want to achieve success, let's practice, since practice makes you good. We are going to start with a game to revise your vocabulary. Are you ready? Let's start. Let's learn English, but through games. Now this is my first brick. It has got the word car. What goes with the word car? Is it the word fair, mobile, light, book, or phone? What do you think? Yes, great. Car, light. Car, light. They match perfectly well. Car light. Don't forget to turn on your car light when you drive at night. Car light. Good. Mobile. What goes with the word mobile? Is it the word lamp? Paraffin or phone? Phone. Mobile phone. Good. Mobile and phone, they match perfectly well. My mobile phone is iPhone 6. What about yours? Book. Fair. They match perfectly well together. I go to the book fair to buy books. What is your favorite kind of books? Story books, science books, adventure books. My favorite kind of books are story books. I like Harry Potter. I go to the book fair to buy books. Have you visited a book fair? Good. Now we have another game. It's write the missing letter. Oh, what's this? It's a ghost. Scary. Something is missing. Scary. What are the missing letters? K and R. Scary. What do you think? Do you think a ghost is really scary? Think. Think. Good. Something is missing. Yes. There are two letters missing. T and H, they make the sound F. Mm. The N is missing too. Think. What's this? Oh, it's a red track. 
truck. C and K, they make the sound k, truck. Have you seen that man? Yes, he's the famous writer of Titanic. Writer, writer, W, R, I, T, E, R, writer. You don't hear the, the letter W, but you write it down, writer, good. Now, this is our magical crystal ball. It's trying to tell us something. Let's find out what is the magical ball is trying to tell us. Are you ready? Let's start. Oh, it's trying to tell us that there is a snowstorm. There might be a snowstorm. Snowstorm. Our magical crystal ball is telling us that there will be a lot of snow. Snow. Oh, it might happen suddenly. Suddenly. Do you remember this little girl? when she was about to have her breakfast and suddenly the glass of water and the biscuits fell on the ground? Poor little girl. Snowstorms happen suddenly. Good. Suddenly, a dust storm arrives. Suddenly. Oh! Our magical crystal ball is trying to tell us that snowstorms are dangerous. Why? Dangerous. Why are the snowstorms dangerous? Because the roads, road, might be icy because the roads might be icy 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 next time when there is a snowstorm drive carefully because the road might be icy icy good Do you like playing billiards? Billiards is my favorite game. So let's have fun in learning English and play billiards. Let's start. What happened yesterday? Look at the picture. What happened yesterday? There, there was, where, are, or is. Which one is the correct answer? Yesterday, there was a dust storm. Right? Clever. Well done my students. Let's shoot another ball. Last week. What happened last week? I drive drove Drives, driving, which one is the correct answer? I drove carefully, I drove carefully.
last week. I drove carefully. Good. Well done. Let's shoot another ball. Yesterday, I move moving moved moves which one is the correct answer yesterday i moved my car off the road moved yesterday i moved good well done. Let's shoot another ball. What did you do yesterday? I waiting? No. Wait? No. Wait? No. Yesterday. Waited. Yesterday, I waited in the car. I waited in the car. Waited. Well done. Now, the balls you have shot. Yesterday, there was a dust storm. Was. So, I drove carefully. I moved my car off the road. I moved my car off the road. Good. And I waited till the dust storm was over. Yesterday, there was a dust storm. I drove carefully. I moved my car off the road. And I waited till the dust storm was over. Well done, my clever students. Let's move on to another game and see how clever you are. In this game, you want to save the mouse by giving the cat the right piece of meat. So, are you ready to save the mouse? Let's do it. Every winter, every winter, it snow snowed or snows what is the right answer every winter it snows it snows we have saved the mouse by giving the cat the right piece of meat it snows Every winter, it snows in Canada. Good. NASA usually wears, wore, wear. What is the correct answer? Usually. Usually. Remember this word. NASA usually Wears. Wears. The correct answer is wears. Nasser usually wears his coat. We have saved the mouse. Clever students. 
and Yasmin always visit, visits, visited. Which one is the correct answer? Aunt Yasmin always visits. She always visits the book fair. Sarah usually buy boat buys. Sarah usually buys storybooks. The correct answer is the word buys. We have saved the mouse again. Now, our mouse wants to go to its house, but it's walking through a maze. Let's find out what might happen to the mouse. Are you ready? Let's start. The mouse, oh, the mouse might find cheese. The mouse might find cheese. Good. The mouse, oh my God, the mouse might see a cat. The mouse might see a cat. Then what might happen? The cat might catch the mouse. Oh my God, the cat might eat the mouse. The cat might eat the mouse. Might eat. Or the mouse might run to its house. Did you like this game? Well done. Now, I want you to choose the right or the correct answer by playing with me this puzzle. Let's start. Look at this picture. She's a teacher just like me. And she's in the classroom. Her students are looking at her. In the classroom, when you're having an English class, what should you do? What should you do? You should listen. Listen. Should listen. It can't be li the word listens or listened. This is wrong. You should listen to the teacher. Good. He's a Muslim. He prays five times a day. What should or what must a Muslim do? A Muslim must pray. A Muslim must pray. Pray is the correct answer. Well done. Look at the boy's trousers. The trousers are too long, too short, not long enough. The trousers are too short. The trousers are too short. Or we can say they are not long enough. Both are the correct answers. You can choose both. Thank you. Now it's time to have an assessment. Practice makes you perfect. Let's practice. Good. We are going to start with comprehension. 
read the following passage and answer the questions below. Mr. Ahmed has a small family. He has two boys, Ali and Nasser. He is a doctor. He works in a big hospital. He always goes to his work by car. He likes to help sick people. Last Friday, they went to the sea. When the car stopped, Ali ran happily to the water to enjoy swimming. But Nasser made funny shapes on the sand. Mr. Ahmed made a fire to grill meat. The family had a tasty lunch. After they ate, they thanked their father and went for walking along the beach. Good. It was a nice day. Now, I want you to remember the underlined word in the second line. He works in a big hospital. Choose the suitable word from A, B, C, or D. It's out of six. The pronoun he in the second line refers to Ali, Nasser, the family, or Mr. Ahmed. The correct answer is Mr. Ahmed. Good. The family went to the hospital, park, sea, gym. The family went to the sea. Mr. Ahmed always goes to work by car, bike, bus, plane. By car. He goes to work by car. The best title for the text is A Lovely Day. A Lovely Day. It can't be shopping in Kuwait or reading or walking. The best title is A Lovely Day. Answer the following questions. They are out of four marks. When did Mr. Ahmed and his family go to the sea? They went to the sea last Friday. What did Nasser do? He made funny shapes on the sand. Well done. Now with the language form and meaning. Choose the right answer. We can't see our TV program without. Without what? Without the phone? Without electricity, without cloth, without food? Which one is the correct answer? Without electricity. Good. The correct answer is electricity. It's very cold today. The roads are useful, modern, icy, difficult. When the weather is very cold, the roads are icy. The correct answer is the word icy. Abdelaziz Hussein is a famous Kuwaiti, Kuwaiti what? Footballer, doctor, driver, or writer. 
عبد العزيز حسين is a famous Kuwaiti writer. The correct answer is the word writer. Good. Now with the grammar and it's out of three marks. Choose the correct word. The weather is cloudy. It might, it might what? Rain, rained, raining, rains. It might rain. The correct answer is rain. I'm not tall. I couldn't reach the shelf. I am not tall. Two. Quite. Enough. Very. Which one is the correct answer? I am not tall enough. So the correct answer is the word enough. I'm not tall enough. I like number three. I like eating chicken. I don't like meat. I like eating chicken and I don't like meat. So I don't like meat or I don't like meat or but I don't like meat. The correct answer is the word but. I like eating chicken but I don't like meat. Okay. Now with the writing. In five sentences, write a short paragraph about the storm with the help of these guide words and picture. We have the words, the storms, uncomfortable, weather, dusty, happen, suddenly, dangerous, drive, move, and road. The storms are uncomfortable. The weather is dusty. It happens suddenly. It's dangerous to drive in a dust storm. Move your car off the road. Now we have reached the last question in our assessment. Fill in the missing letters. You have two missing letters in each word. We have the word snowstorm, the missing letters N and O. The next one, road, O and D, they are missing. The third one, book fair, O and R. The last one, scary. S and A. S and A, they are missing. We have reached the end of our episode. I hope you found it fruitful and useful. We have revised the vocabulary and structure through games. We had an example of an assessment. Best of luck in all your assessments. Wishing you full mark and see you in other Fun With English episodes.